wow, look at that sky. Look at that sunrise. Look at those colors. I wish. <laughs> what is it it never happens at a weekend when you've got the whole day to photography and you want to kick it off with a glorious sunrise up at five o'clock in the morning? Nothing. Zilch. Nay colour. Never mind. I'm out. Um, and where am I out? This morning I am at Borsy Pits or Lesiat Lakes. I came here last year very briefly actually. Um, I don't think I shot a vlog here. I think I might have shot a little bit of footage that I mixed into uh, a compilation vlog. But it's an interesting place because it's, it's quarry pits, um, sand banks, which attract a lot of people in the summer to swim really. And I think actually it's got a bit of a tarred history. I think last year there was, uh, unfortunately, people got into trouble swimming here. Um, and I believe one was, was fatally injured, I think, but there's signs everywhere to say no swimming, but it does attract people in the summer because it's got some nice sort of sandy beaches around the lakes. But um, it also has a load of silver birch around the lake, which of course this time of year, look very colourful. So I thought I would just see what it looked like really at the moment um, but of course it looks gorgeous but we've got no light, no light at all. Um, there is a little bit of blue sky coming over there so maybe it might push over. Weather conditions this morning aren't great either, we have some wind as you can probably see, um, rain expected later, not ideal. So what I plan to do today is to spend a little bit of time just exploring this place here to see if we get any lights, see if I can get any shots. Um, and if not, and if the rain starts, I'm going to head just up the road to Sandringham and I'm going to head deep into the woods at Sandringham and uh, explore that a bit more as well. So I've got a plan. It will probably end up at the woods as it normally does. But yeah, this is uh, Lesiat Lake's Borsy Pit, just to the east of Kings Lynn. So just took a couple of shots there across the lake with the long lens on, the 100-400, just to try and pick out some of those silver birch trees over the other side of the lake as we've got a bit of light hitting them. It's very windy, so um, I've up my ISO till 640, I think, just to try and get a shot speed of about hundredths of a second, which probably won't be enough to freeze the leaves and the branches, but uh, the trunk should be sharp. And yeah, when that light hit, it was a nice little bit of color. So we'll see what they come out like. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the Sony so far. Really enjoying. I've been out uh, a couple of times with it. This will be the third time since my last vlog. Apologies for the delay in releasing another one. I did, as I say, I've been out a couple of times, went to Home Fen, surprise, surprise, uh, with the Sony. Uh, anybody that follows me on social media, or on uh, Instagram or or on Twitter will have seen uh, that I've been posting some shots at Home Fen um, in the autumn gold. Uh, really nice colours down there at Home Fen at the moment. And I'm really enjoying practicing with the Sony. It's been it's been great. I'm really impressed with it so far. I'm impressed with sharpness of both lenses. Uh, <laughs> once I'd figured out I had to take the optical stabilisation off of the uh, uh, the long lens on the tripod. I made a mistake and a couple of you pointed that out, so thanks for that. Uh, but now I'm really impressed with the sharpness of the images. I'm really impressed with the detail that you're getting from the raw files, the colours that are in them. Um, yeah, I'm just impressed all around. I'm really enjoying it. So um, I've changed some of the settings. I've gone into custom settings. I've set up custom settings one, two, and three. I've played around with some of the custom settings on the camera itself. Uh, and I think that's the key to the Sony, as I understand. It's it's once you've got to know the menu um, and what you're going to be using the camera to shoot and mine is landscape nearly all the time 
Um, I've just set up the custom settings so they're right for me, so I really don't have to mess around with any of those settings once I take the camera out. Um, I've put the video settings also in the custom settings so I can flick to video and take some B-roll using the uh, camera, which I want to do as well. So yeah, all set up, working very easy, really enjoying it. It's getting really windy now, it did talk of it. And whilst it's dry, I'm really not that keen on this wind. There you go. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head just up the road to Sandringham into the woods, get inside the, uh, the dense woods there at Sandringham, look for a few clearings so we can get a bit of light. It does talk of rain, as I say. Uh, as long as it's not too heavy, I don't mind that will just help enrich some of the colours if it does rain. But yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here at Borsey and I'll see you in a few seconds up at Sandringham. I'm knackered. <laughs> I've just walked for probably a good hour around here at Sandringham Woods. And whilst it's beautiful, you know, we've got all the autumn colours out. You know, there's autumn colours on the floor, the trees. It's just, it is gorgeous. But I was, and I am, still struggling photographically to get something that really just jumps out at me. I think the trouble with this time of year is that Although they do look nice, they do look sometimes just like autumn snaps, um, taking pictures of the, the colours. You know, and I think the, a lot of the shots I've taken recently at home, I absolutely love them, but you get to a point where I think it gets a bit samey. So I've just tried to get something a bit different, um, just to show that I'm thinking really, rather than just seeing, oh, there's some nice colours. Oh, it's, uh, it's got some contrast behind it. Let's take the shot. So as I say, I've been walking for absolutely ages and I am starving. Um, and I think there's rain coming. But what caught my eye, and it's odd really, was um, there's a tunnel of trees that take you to a clearing at the back of the forest there. And in that clearing at the back, there is some orange and, and yellow leaved trees and a couple of trees that are forking over to the edge. I'll show you in uh, what I've got set up in camera at the moment, just so you can see, and I'll talk you through it. So the, the background was what drew me to it and it was lit and every now and again we get a bit of light on it and that really punches out. And then this sort of tunnel of, um, of trees either side with the trees over the top arching over creates an actual frame and then the greenery around the outside. It's just a natural vignette. Um, and it, it, yeah, it stood out to me. So I think this should be okay. Um, as you'll see, I've had to put the tripod up really high to get above the, um, the greenery at the base here, just so I can actually get down that tunnel of, uh, of trees to see the background. So I'm at literally at, I think I'm about 300 mil on the, uh, on the lens, got it up high. I've put a five second timer on um, and just really tried to 
catch when the wind isn't blowing quite as much. I think I'm up at ISO 800 as well. So, you know, I'm still only getting a shutter speed of about 40th or 50th of a second. So, you know, it's, it's not great. And that's because there's not a lot of light here, but it should be enough. And if I get a little bit of movement in the leaves, it's not the end of the world. Do you know what? I think I've just taken a shot there that I said earlier on. I was hoping I wouldn't take, which is just a typical autumn shot in the woods. It's a nice shot, don't get me wrong. Really nice. There's a really old, nice beech tree, I think it is, with some lovely saplings just behind it, either left and right. Beautiful little yellow and green leaves on them. Path leading through, some nice orange bracken on the floor. So yeah, compositionally, it's a nice shot, but I think that's just it. It's just it's a nice shot. It's certainly not a portfolio shot and it's now getting, I'm now getting wet, it's starting to rain. Um, that might help actually. So yeah, I, as I say, <laughs> I quite like the shot. It will certainly have a bit of punch to it, um, but that's about it. So I'll let you have a look at that one there and then I'll decide on whether I get the bronze out or not. <laughs> I think I will. Well, as you can see, it is now raining. And I've had to resort to put the brolly up. And I've also resorted to filming on the GoPro. Because my vlogging camera isn't waterproof. Um, so I hope the sound quality is okay. The colours are really coming out now, as expected when it rains. Um, really rich. And this scene behind me here really caught my eye. Um, there's some, the, the pine trees on the left hand side lead you down to a single pine tree right at the end of the path, right in the middle of the frame. Uh, and there's an overhanging um, tree of, of the lovely oranges and yellows overhanging the top of the frame. So yeah, this one really caught my eye. Uh, 70 to 70 to 200, listen to me. <laughs> 100 to 400 on, and I'm at uh, probably about 180, 200. Yeah, I think this one should come out quite nice. Quite like it. Okay, so I'm going to be honest here and let you know that I really didn't have a mono in mind when I took this shot. However, when I looked at it on the big screen, the overhanging tree with the, the oranges and yellows, it was just dominating the frame and just taking up too much of the image. Uh, and you, you lost the interest of the path with the tree at the back. So turning it mono uh, and making a more of an infrared type shot I felt worked a bit better. <laughs> I tell you what, the rain has made today for me. And that sounds really strange, isn't it? But it has. Uh, I have really enjoyed the last hour with my brolly up. I managed to grab a couple of extra shots. Um, yeah, and the rain, it does do as they say in, in the woods. It saturates the colours and it creates that sort of additional sort of misty feeling in the background where, where certainly when it's heavy rain, which it has been here, it's just stopped a little bit now. But yeah, great fun. So I'm pleased it rained. But the rest of the morning has been okay. Obviously, I didn't get the light first thing this morning, but managed to get out to a couple of locations this morning. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me on both of those locations. And until next time, I am going to go and get something to eat because I'm absolutely starving. I've not eaten since five o'clock this morning, probably now about one o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm knackered, but I've had a good day. So until the next one, I'll see you soon.